put your mother and stay your mother to my beautiful wife. My yeah. love, my love. <laughs> if you can, turn with me to your Bibles, uh, Luke 19, Luke 19, I will be reading out of the international version, new international version, Luke 19. My soul love Jesus. My soul Boys, he was a boss. 
He was, he was a boss. Usually when, no, no, remember that he was a chief tax collector. So usually when, when you're in positions like this, playing around with money, you wake up with your mind on your money, and, and your money on your mind. <laughs> but you miss having your mind on the door. Hey, I need that, bro. That's that chili action right there. And, 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 and the root, I'm going to go back old school, how the, how the grandma and the grandma, the root of all evil <laughs> What have you doing some things. <laughs> Then how you doing? <laughs> so bad. Uh -uh. Now, notice, the reason why I say that, notice the people say Zacchaeus was a sinner. That lets me know that the root <laughs> of all evil will have you doing some bad. Zacchaeus, he was wealthy. He had status. He had everything going on that many others wanted, but he was still missing some pieces. He was strong in his life area of business, but he was weak in his life area of spirituality. Spiritual. He was missing nothing business-wise. I got to reiterate this. But he was missing pieces spiritual-wise. Zacchaeus, at this very time in his life, had come to that light bulb switch moment. How many people know what I'm talking about? When it flies over your head and after a while it clicks on and you're like, duh. <laughs> that, that late catch action. He came to this light bulb moment in his life that he was missing some pieces. Well, how do you know that? So glad you asked. The King James Version said he sought to see Jesus. The case that flew over your head said he, he sought to see Jesus. Right there it says he finally put his mind on Jesus. It says he put his mind on Jesus. He, he wanted to see Jesus, but if you get deeper into it, 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 he didn't just want to see him, he wanted to know him. Which lets me know that all the wealth in the world cannot bring you happiness. A, a very Hip hop poet, editor, artist, Christopher Wallace, we know as Biggie Smalls. He, he sung a song that said, More money, more problems. And, and he came up this song which reached back way into, into the back of history. And he brought it way up here. More money more problems, especially when Jesus is not in the picture. See, 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 having all that without Jesus leads to destruction. But I love the part as Zacchaeus messed around and got the Lord on his mind. And when Jesus gets on your mind, yeah. just like the song says, he starts shifting back. He, he starts shifting things in your life. Because we know when our praises, you heard the song, our worship, I don't know. I go off track. 
Bishop, don't, don't make me Bishop. <laughs> it reads, it reads, it reads, Zacchaeus was a short man. I, I need you to understand that back in the day, your stature, your height meant a lot. If you were short, people underestimated your ability. They took short as being weak and tall to be strong. Why do I say that? If you look at it, let's go back to David and Goliath. Goliath seen David, he seen how short David was with him and how young he was, and he laughed at him. <laughs> but if God be funny, who can be against you? And you know how the story went. I had five rocks, but I used one. Well, why did he have five rocks? Getting off track. I'm glad you asked, Bishop. Goliath had four problems. <laughs> so if I don't want to jump, you can get it too. <laughs> <laughs> it reads that Zacchaeus climbed up a sycamore fig tree so that he can see Jesus coming his way. How many of us in here need Jesus to come our way? How, how many of us would climb the highest mountain if that's what it takes to see Jesus coming our way? He climbed the sycamore tree. Uh, let, let me clarify. Can, will you allow me to clarify sycamore tree? Y'all yeah, so good to me. That, that's just so good. Sycamore tree symbolizes in the Bible protection, divinity, eternity, and strength. The fruit of the sycamore tree is considered to be a humble fruit. Now, was Zacchaeus a humble man? See, when you get in the Bible, you got to have an argument with it. That's what enlightens a lot of the team. Because you got to, you got, it's like, you ever have a nosy neighbor that's always in your business? Everything you do, they know. That's how you have to be with the Bible. You have to get nosy. You got to question it. You got to widen it up. Who is that for? What is it? He got the question. He climbed the sycamore tree. Sycamore, the figs, the fruit on the sycamore tree is a symbolization of humble. Now was Zacchaeus a humble man? I have some that a few. The Bible reads, and I was almost, this almost flew over my head. It said, Jesus said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. <laughs> See, when Jesus, when God said move, you got to move. <laughs> Come down immediately. Do not overlook that Zacchaeus took the first step of going up the tree, but Jesus took the second trip step of telling him to come down. <laughs> when we start taking steps toward Jesus, <laughs> when we start taking steps toward Jesus, Jesus will take step, will allow us to take steps towards him. And, and Jesus said to him, I'll be crashing at your spot tonight. I'm going to your crib. Come on up. I'll be standing with you. Turn to your neighbors. Turn to your neighbors and say, here go the hand. Turn to the other name and say, here go the hand. When, when Jesus said that, what was the first thing the haters said? <laughs> he, he going over there to him. He, he's staying over to his house. Oh, so they're going to be watching the flash screen, watching movie, popcorn over there. Huh? I can't believe he going to the center house. That's how I knew that Zacchaeus 
Was it so humble? If you would, the first thing that came out there about was the fact that he was a sinner. Well, oh, Jesus changed things. Oh, Lord God. It said, this, <laughs> when, he, when he climbed up the tree, all, all that, just by touching it to me, I could just see it. It just started shifting it. So all the meanness now that just started moving out. And I love, I, I, I love, I love, I love the way Zacchaeus flipped it on. I thought he was an acrobat. Because cause Zacchaeus said, Lord, I'm going to give half of my possession to the poor. See how he flipped it? He went, he went from and you, you know he was thinking about himself with his money because he was very wealthy. And, and I don't I just see anything else in here to say he gave. But it says, I will give half of my possessions to the poor. And anybody, if I have cheated them, I will give them four times. King James Version says fourfold. It says I will give them four times. Somebody didn't feel that. So you can't just say action speaks louder than words. They said, I will give them four, four times. This is how I know that he finally came to the point where he was missing some pieces. He was missing that heart for other pieces. He was, he was missing that unselfishness pieces. He was, he was missing that all about me pieces. The, the more I study the Bible, it, it says there's only one job in the church, and that is to serve. If you're not willing to be a servant, that's why he said to the rich young ruler that you, you got the heart. Your spirit, was, your spirit was willing. You have the heart. <laughs> but you won't be able to see the kingdom of heaven because you can't let that, that go. If, if you can't come to serve, what can I do for you? So he said, I'll give him, I'll give them four times. Now, when you when you deal with numbers in the Bible, they have so much meaning. It, it will give you the full revelation of, of the meaning of the word. I, I'm gonna go into four real quick. Four is the, the symbolic for earthly completion. Four is the number of the great elements: air, earth, water, fire. There are there are four regions. Or direction. What is that? North, south, east, and west. There are four seasons of the year. Fall, winter, spring, summer. There are four divisions of the day. Morning, noon, evening, night. There are four phases of the moon. First, half, full, last. It's the completion. The completion. So at this time, it's safe to say that he was completed in Jesus. Let me move on. I can turn that into an hour, sir. I, 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 I love the way he acknowledged that he had done some things wrong. So he said, I will give half to the poor. And if anyone I cheated, I will give them four times that back. Yes. See, it's, it's something to know. It's something to be in denial that you're missing some, some pieces. But it's something else know it and correct it. Yeah. 
And the highlight of the text for me is when, when Jesus says, this day, today, salvation has come to this house. That's how I know when he got his mind on Jesus and he got to the presence of the Lord, it was a shift. He didn't only get the shift when he got the fullness and the fullness of. Somebody missed that. Somebody missed that. I, I said all of that, I clarified all of that just to say this. Don't let your missing pieces keep you from getting your blessings. Don't let your missing pieces keep you from getting the fullness of God. Don't let your missing pieces keep you in your selfish ways. Don't let your missing pieces keep you from loving. Don't let your missing pieces keep you from having your mind on the Lord. I, I'm going to say this and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. I, I, I hear this old song playing in my head. It says, It's coming again so soon. Maybe night I know. You'll be ready when he comes. Coming on the cloud. Every eye shall see. You'll be ready when he comes. I say that to say this. Don't let your missing pieces keep you from being ready when Jesus comes. Yeah. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor, turn to your neighbor, say, you can have everything yeah. and still be missing some pieces. Yeah. Still be missing some pieces. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. Yeah.